Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about how you can find already selling, top selling products that are making people money right now that you can just plug and play into your Shopify store and start making some money. When you're looking for a hot top selling product, you're obviously going to want to be looking at competition, seeing what they're selling. And in my opinion, the best way to do that, or at least the, my favorite way of doing it, is go into Amazon. And I go to Amazon because it's the biggest website, obviously, in the entire internet, and they sell everything. And if it's selling on Amazon, chances are it's probably going to be selling for you. So let's go ahead and just you know, dive in. Um, so the first thing, obviously, you're going to need a niche, right? If you don't have a niche, then it's going to make it kind of hard. So I'm just going to make something up. Um, we're kind of in November, in the middle of Q4, and we're heading towards the Christmas season, cold weather, all that kind of stuff. I'm thinking maybe we go with something that's kind of like cold weather oriented. Um, and also, I know that women spend a lot of money during uh, the Christmas season, so that might be something. So let's, let's just type in women and see what comes up. Um, uh, socks, sweaters, tops, so this is all like, you know, cold weather stuff, leggings, uh, that could be good. Let's check out slippers. Um, so here we go, slippers. Um, oh, they actually changed this. You, you used to be able to sort by best selling, I'm pretty sure, but um, we're just going to type in best selling on here. <clears throat> Hit enter. So as you can see, uh, these slippers, 1,300 orders, 1,500 orders. Uh, 1100 orders, 765 orders, that's a lot of orders. All these are super popular, meaning that they're probably going to be, uh, you know, good products that you could potentially sell, provided that your marketing is good, right? But the, the products have proved themselves and they're, and they're decent. Now this one kind of intrigues me because it's, it's not just like your average slipper or whatever for a slipper. Um, it actually has something, uh, you know, like a teddy bear. Now looking at it, it only has 103 orders, so it's not like the greatest product to sell according to Amazon. But I think the concept of like some sort of animal um, is kind of intriguing, especially to uh, the market that I think would buy these. So what we can do with that information is actually get, jump over to AliExpress here um, and just type it in. I'm just going to type in like fur slippers or something like that, right? Just, just to see what comes up. Um, and when we do this, <laughs> look at that reindeer slippers. Those would actually, let's see, not a lot of orders, but those might be good for Christmas season, right? Um, but what I do here, uh, I don't click free shipping, new arrivals, I don't click any of that. The only thing that I do is I click orders because I want to sort by the amount of orders because if there's a lot of orders, that means a lot of people are buying, a lot of people are, are, maybe not a lot of people are selling, but a lot of people are buying it, meaning that there's money to be made, right? So here we go. Uh, we got these cat slippers, um, these furry sandals, which I don't think that really works for our whole winter theme. Uh, here we got these cat slippers again, some like emoji stuff. Uh, the cat slippers again. So look at look at the amount of orders on here though. So 2,300, 966, uh, 839. That's just in the top eight. Um, there's three listings for the same product and they all have almost over a thousand orders, right? So to me, that says that a lot of people are buying it and it's probably a good product. So what we can do is actually go in and, and just uh, you know check out the seller rating. So like this, the seller ratings, lots of diamonds, 96% uh, positive feedback, so that's pretty decent. This one, 97% positive feedback and like 572 reviews, plus free shipping. So I'm just gonna click on this and just see you know what we got. They got high quality photos, which is something that you wanna look for when you're doing your product, because if you have blurry photos or out of focus photos or just like, low resolution photos, it's not going to work. It's going to cheapen your brand and you're probably not going to get high conversions. So it's good that we have this. Um, it's also good that there's a lot of reviews um, because we can use that to our advantage. Uh, but one thing that I don't see a lot of people talking about, they, they say obviously look at the order, see how many there are. But a lot of people, they don't say, because this could have 2,300 orders like last month, but it's not selling at all this month because they sold out, right? But what we can do to make sure that it's still constantly selling is we can actually scroll all the way down to the bottom, which by the way, these, these photos are actually great for, for marketing. Um, but here in the transaction history, you can actually see um, that all of these pairs are being sold on the 7th, which today is November 7th. I'm recording this a little bit in advance. Um, but yeah, these are all being sold on November 7th. So we can go to the next page, all November 7th, 7th, um, you know, 7th. And what's interesting is, especially on this page, you can see that all these people are like R or whatever and from France. So this is all the same person buying all these pairs. And still, still the same guy, 
still the same guy. So this dude's killing it. And this is all November 7th. He had four pages of like, whatever this is, eight to 10 per page. He's selling that many slippers per day. This guy's making some money. So that means to me that that product is something that's good, that people want, uh, you know, because he's selling it. So this would be a great product to sell, uh, provided that you have the right marketing and everything. I think you can make a lot of money with this. Um, another way that I like to find products, and this is a little bit different, is using this website is called Exchange. And basically this website is used for people that want to buy and sell Shopify stores. So if you want to sell your Shopify store, if you want just like a turnkey solution, uh, this is a good website for that. But what we're going to use it for is actually product research. And I'm going to show you why in a minute. Um, but we're going to have to choose our category. So let's just stick with the same uh, you know, fashion and apparel. But obviously you can choose whatever you want. And uh, what I usually do is 10,000 plus. Reason being is because if you're selling it for over 10,000, usually you have to justify being able to do that um, by having a significant amount of sales on your website, right? So if uh, they have a significant amount of sales, then it would probably be something good to look at. So we're just gonna search, and here we go. Um, as you can see, revenue 38,000, 152,000, 362,000. That's how much revenue each of these sites have made. Um, and you can also see how much traffic they've made or they've gotten, which is you know astronomical. 1.2 million people have seen this Lorenz watch, whatever, um, which is crazy to me. How do you know this is legit? Is because actually this this is an app that you have to install on your Shopify store, and it automatically kind of syncs with it, so it can see your financial information, um, you know, from Shopify, and that's how you know that this is a legit number. Uh, but what we can do is just uh, you know scroll down and scroll around, and for example, this Nordic craze. Uh, $25,000 in revenue uh, and 62,000 people. So say you want to get in the sunglass niche, right? Let's view the details. And usually you can check out, um, like here you can see that they had a huge spike in April through like July. They were making over $5,000 a month for about four months and then it just kind of died off. And um, you know, we can read this and see why maybe they just stopped promoting or something. But it's not super relevant. Um, what I'd rather do is check out the website. So let's you know, go ahead and check out the website. What you have to do is actually click on the logo and then uh, we're gonna open this in a new tab or else it, it stays on this exchange website, which is super annoying. Um, but once we open it in a new window, what we can do actually is come up here and after Nordic Craze, copy and paste this code, which I'll um, provide in the description below just so you can uh, you know, have it to copy and paste yourself. But basically what this is gonna do is allow us to sort this website by the best selling so we can see what's the best selling products on this website. Because if you wanna get into the Sunday class niche, like this is some good information. So the best selling for them at least was these free Nordic Wayfarers. Um, you know, zero dollars they're doing a free plus shipping offer. And uh, you know, they're probably doing, you know, $10 shipping or something. I don't know, if you wanted to, you could do a test order and just see how much they're, they're selling it. I'm not gonna do that because it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but what we can actually do is click on this and one way to, to actually find this on AliExpress is you can just right click, hit uh, search Google for image and that'll pull up a Google search where Google actually searches for this specific image and a lot of times you can actually find it on AliExpress through that. Um, here's Alibaba, eBay. Um, it doesn't look like... Oh, here we go. Um, AliExpress. Let's see if we if we click on that. Um, and it looks like these are actually the glasses. 116 orders. I feel like we could find one with better. Uh, let me just type in bamboo sunglasses. And then again, we're sorting by orders. And yeah, here you go. Uh, almost 10,000 orders for these for these glasses. And I'm pretty sure these are the same ones. If we go to uh, black ones, yeah. So those. And these, yeah, those are the same ones, right? Okay, so they're selling it for 454, just, you know, for example's sake, let's say they're selling, they're doing $10 shipping. Um, so they stand to make about, what was that, $5.50 per, per purchase, which is decent, you know? But these are selling really good, 10,000 orders, that's insane. That means that you could probably make some money with it. Um, but let's just, you know, do the test again and see, yep, they're still selling November 7th, November 7th. November 7th, uh, you know, November 6th. So these are still selling, these are still a hot product that you could actually go out there and sell yourself. And also they have, you know, super, super professional photos that you could go in and, uh, you know, use for yourself. 
So the last way that I like to do it, um, and this is this is an interesting way, is you go to this website. It's called Wish. You actually have to, uh, you know, sign up for the website. I think you can sign up with Facebook or whatever. Um, but what this is is it, it's basically um, a drop shipping website itself. But they kind of curate all kinds of things from AliExpress, and a lot of people use this um, to actually purchase things. But what we can do is say we want to do the whole women's slipper thing again, right? So we can type in women's slippers. And uh, bah, 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 bah. and here we go. Um, these are all the, the products that they sell on this website, right? But what I like to do is usually, the cool thing about this is it says how many uh, people have bought these. So what I usually like to do is hit Command F on, on the Mac or Control F, whatever. And I type in 000 because that's gonna tell me that that's uh, at least a thousand orders on the product. So what we can do is just go through and see, so like, here, 20,000 people bought these slippers. Um, 20,000 bought these. Let's see, 1,000 bought those. Um, but anyways, I think you get the point, is then you could come in here and then, you know, find these on AliExpress. Just type in, you know, whatever these are, winter home lady sandals. Type those on AliExpress and you'll probably be able to find one that has, you know, a bunch of orders and be able to go from there. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Hopefully you're able to apply these concepts and be able to find some hot selling products of your own because really there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to do the research to find a product and shouldn't be making money off of them, you know, if you actually do the research. You just have to find what's actually working now and implement it on your website and just make it a little bit better so that you can start making some money of your own. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell because I'm dropping new videos every single day and it's free value for you guys. If you like videos like these, then you're definitely gonna like what I'm gonna have in the future and you know, you're gonna wanna be notified. So hit that notification bell. If you like the video, hit a like and let me know that you like the video. Lastly, I'm trying to get everybody on this on this website on this that subscribes to me to at least $100 a day, which is totally doable. But I know a lot of you guys have some roadblocks. So let me know in the comments, what are the roadblocks that are running into you not being able to make $100 a day? And uh, you know what specifically do you wanna know? Because I wanna make some videos to help you guys get over that hump so that we can you know move on to things that, in terms of like scaling your business past $100 a day. So let me know what's standing in the way and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.